Hello and welcome to this edition of Skywatch, a program where we explore topics in meteorology and the related fields. I'm your host, meteorologist Chris Bouchard, reporting to you from the Fairbanks Museum and Planetarium here in St. John's Bray. Oh my god. This will pick up a month of the white water bowls. Woo! These are the same clogs in the middle of the ocean. Wow. Incredible. Oh, I can't wait to send this to my geology professors. Few natural phenomena are more impressive than a flash flood, especially one containing large chunks of ice. Such was the case along the Ammanusik River of New Hampshire during Sunday, March 6, 2011. These ice flows are called ice runs and can be very destructive to bridges, trees, roadways, and anything else in their path. But how do these ice flows form? Well, it all begins during the cold months of winter. During long and cold stretches of weather, ice begins to develop on rivers and streams. Slow-moving water typically freezes first, but during sub-zero weather, even running water can freeze on the surface. As the winter wears on, the ice grows thicker and thicker. But as spring begins to set in, the strengthening sun brings about rising temperatures. This begins to melt the snowpack that is built up over the winter. Occasionally, heavy rains and very warm temperatures couple up, leading to sharp rises on rivers and streams. Now, this was the case on Sunday when low pressure brought moderate rains to the area and sent temperatures spiking into the 40s and 50s. As rivers rise, the ice can begin to break up and float downstream, sometimes in sizable sheets. Twists, turns, and other obstructions can cause the sheets to jam up, especially on smaller rivers and streams. As the water begins to bring more ice downstream, an ice jam can form. Now this acts sort of like a dam, forcing water to begin to pool up. Often, this can lead to flooding upstream. But if the water continues to rise at this point, the jam itself may break up, sending a large volume of water and ice on a sudden, violent journey downstream. As this video shows, these floods can come on with almost no warning, and so it's very important to stay away from flood-prone rivers and streams when ice jams are possible. The National Weather Service issues flood warnings and flood advisories in situations where ice jams may cause flooding, and it's important to heed them. The Cold Regions Research and Engineering Laboratory website is an excellent source of information about ice jams and the flooding that they cause, as well as for current maps of flooding and ice jams. You can get there by heading to the website on your screen. Well, that does it for this week's edition of Skywatch. Join me again next week.